October 5th, 1991. For 18 years, the Soviet Union had been working on a supersonic jet fighter that would defy traditional avionics. The idea was to create a new generation of jets that would not only fly beyond the speed of sound, but also possess the ability to take off and land vertically. Ideal for landing aboard an aircraft carrier. The Yak-41 fighter is poised for a perfect landing, but the test pilot's about to find out just how tricky that's going to be. And as the jet fuel burns, the pilot is still trapped inside. What looks like a controlled speed is deceptive. The pilot's bringing it down too fast. The plane's fuel tanks rupture and burst into flames. Fire engulfs the wreckage, and there's no sign of the pilot. Seconds later, he ejects to safety. Less than a year later, an older version of the plane, the Yak-38, is put on display. Showing off their hovering capabilities, the two fighters sit eerily still, just a few hundred feet above the runway. In a choreographed routine, they circle each other horizontally. Then, just seconds after they return to their starting points, one of the plane's engines cuts out. realizes he's lost control, he bails, and the plane plummets. Thankfully, the pilot lands safely on the tarmac. The accident happened because the exhaust from the plane on the left is sucked into the engine of the plane on the right. This disturbance in airflow causes catastrophic engine failure. Although the Soviet-era design of both Yak fighters is revolutionary, it will take years for pilots to master their complexity. <laughs>